Hello there, you join me at the car park at Rushi Town Railway Station and there's a reason why I've started this video today at the car park. On the Trent Valley Line there's a week long blockade between the 15th of July and the 23rd of July 2023 and no trains are running up and down the Trent Valley Line except for engineering trains. So all the Banty West Coast services are diverted by the West Midlands going through places like Birmingham International, Stetchford, Tabridge Parkway, Penkridge and on to Stafford. So the procession actually starts at Rushi Town Railway Station which is why there's no trains at Rushi Town Station. So we're going to get some of these diverts today but unfortunately I've got to get to Hensford and I've got to get to Hensford by the replacement bus. So we have now made it to Hensford, the half past eight to Bergen International is sitting on the platform right here. We're going to board the train now and Hensford to head to Warsaw. <laughs> So I'm now at Warsaw Railway Station and that train that I just filmed arriving is actually my train out of Warsaw at 0937. That is going to Wolverhampton but it's going to the stations that I'm covering today between Hampstead and Aston which the first destination on route is Hampstead. Secondly I wanted to stop off at Warsaw for breakfast, went to McDonald's but I am coming back to Warsaw later on this afternoon because there is a train running that's making its mainline return from EC Arlington to Crew HS because locomotive services have something that people do like. Something that people don't like. But all we know is, it's the train that never dies. That's right. We're getting a class 142 pacer train at Warsaw Railway Station. Hopefully it runs though. Hopefully. Anyway, let's get out of Warsaw and head to Hampstead. Good morning everyone, this is your conductor speaking. Welcome aboard the 937 West Midlands Railway Service to Warsaw Hampstead. So as I mentioned at Warsaw Railway Station, there's a class 142 pacer that is on its way off from EC Arlington to Crew HS and that is running, it has left EC Arlington seven minutes early so we'll get that at Warsaw Railway Station on the way back but in the meantime though we've got the Banty West Coast Diverts to deal with and this is the first station that I shall be getting them today, this is Hampstead and it feels like a station in London to be honest but it's not, it's actually in the West Midlands Also one thing that I have forgotten to mention today is that we are getting some diverted freight trains through here as well because of the Trent Valley Line being shut. But a little bit of history about Hampstead Railway Station. It actually opened on the 4th of July 1837 by the Grand Junction Railway. The original station though is actually just beyond the bridge down the bottom on the other side. However though when it was opened it was actually opened as Hampstead and Great Bar. In 1875 the station was renamed to Great Bar. The 25th of March 1899 was moved to the current side that I'm standing on right now and in 1974 it was relayed from Great Bar to Hampstead. So 
So all you get at Hampstead is, it's just the class 350 Zeros. They do stop here on a 30 minute frequency between Warsaw and Wolverhampton. And the Rougie Trevay to Bergen International Services and the crew to Bergen New Street Services do pass through this station. But I'm actually catching a class 350 to zero now to the next location I've got planned. Now the next station is Pay Bar, but I'm going to be skipping Pay Bar for now and coming back to that later on. So the next station I'm going to is Witten, which I'm catching the 1048 West Midlands Railway Service to Wolverhampton to get to Witten. So the next station I'm stopping off at on this Avanti West Coast Divert Day is Witten. And honestly, Witten, it doesn't really get much attention in the blogs to be honest. Because all you get here is your half an hour Warsaw to Wolverhampton services and any freight trains that pass through here. But with Avanti West Coast services diverting through here, this is the perfect excuse to do Witten Station. So let's dive into the history of Witten Station. It opened on the 1st of May 1876 by the London and North Western Railway. Even though the railway tracks were laid here in 1837 as part of the Grand Junction Railway. Also, this is actually the closest station to a football stadium, which is just over there. And that football stadium is Villa Park, the home of Aston Villa Football Club. And it's actually easier to walk from Witten to Villa Park than it is from Aston. So sometimes you do get additional train stopping here as well if there's an event on or Aston Villa are playing at home at Villa Park and those services are the Rougie Trev Valley services. Sometimes they divert their way from Soho to have them additionally call here at Witten. But we shall be leaving Witten now to head to Aston which is the next station down the line. I am waiting for the M53 West Midlands Railway service to Wolverhampton but once we get to Aston it's going to be all chaos there. You get the Avanti West Coast services passing through, any freight trains passing through, the Warsaw to Wolverhampton services stopping there, and you also get the Cross City services as well, which some of the Cross City services today are starting from Blake Street and not from Litchfield. Again, due to the engineer works on the Trent Valley line. To be honest, it's absolute chaos here at Aston at the moment. I literally only have 45 minutes here, not the full hour. So I'm going to do the station history right now because Aston Station opened in 1854 by the London and North Western Railway. In 1862, a branch line to Sutton Coalfield opened, which is now part of today's Cross City line. And in 1882, the line towards Stetchford opened as well. That sound is always epic. 
But also at Assen, you do see the god tier trades, the class 323s. So I was mainly going to use Aston as a turnaround to do some filming here as well. Got off the train at 11.57 but I'm bored to the 12.38 service to head back towards Warsaw, stopping off at Pay Bar on the way. So that's the next train to arrive which I'm going to board right now, get out of Aston and get to Pay Bar. So the next station is Pay Bar and this station is actually one of the oldest operational stations in the world that still exist because this opens on the 4th of July 1837 by the Grand Junction Railway on the site that you see today. However though between May 2021 and May 2022 the station did close for a year so they could refurbish the station building and then the last time I was here at Pay Bar I actually did an in-depth look at this railway station once the refurbishment was completed which that video is popping up on screen right now if you want to give that a watch with Tico Sprinter. The one thing about this hobby is, there's a lot of running. That's no word of a lie. I just had to leg it over to platform one, just so I could get that class 321 dusty bin for bearing this rail. Because it was scheduled to come through, but there was also a freight train to come through as well. The 4S44 Daventry to Moss End working, which was a class 68 diesel locomotive. And I thought they possibly could be bullish, so that's why I legged it over. But to be honest, I would have been on this platform still and would have been alright. To be honest, I think we got away with the weather today because it meant to be raining all day, but it's been raining on and off. I know it's raining now, but I think we got lucky with the weather to be honest at sub locations. Now the other two stations on this route, Tabridge Parkway and Bescott Stadium, I wouldn't mind doing them for a Banty West Coast diverts but unfortunately I can't because I'm catching the 3042 West Midlands Railway service now to get back to Warsaw because it is time to see that train that never dies. Yes, that pacer bus. So I'm now back at Warsaw and that class 142 pacer is currently on the Sutton Park line running about 30 minutes early. So it's lucky that I've got back here early before that pacer train comes through here. But let's see, because it's time now for the train that never dies. <laughs> Thank you. 
to be honest, that class 142 Pacer bus saw Warsaw for, now nah, you're right, let's go to Crewe. Because it didn't hang around, to be honest. And it was running about half an hour early as well. So it's lucky that I got back to Warsaw before two o'clock. Because I was thinking this was gonna happen, and it did, to be honest. Which means I'm going back towards Rougie Town early now. Because I think this weather now is in for the afternoon and the evening with this rain. So the train I'm catching arrives at 14.37, but it sits in Warsaw for nine minutes. Because while the engineering work's happening at Rougie Trev Valley and on the Trev Valley line, I think they've replanned the timetable slightly. So it's got a lesser wait at Birmingham New Street, but a longer wait at Warsaw. So I'm going to be catching the 1448 West Midlands Railway Service at Hensford and then get the replacement bus back to Rougie Town. So we're now back in Hensford and the replacement bus is literally just down there. So we're going to pause it now and head back to Rusha Town. While on the replacement bus this morning to Hensford, I noticed this building it looked like a single box. That's because it is a single box. This one used to be Hensford's signal box, which was sighted north of the station heading towards Rugeley. It has been moved to a different location and has been preserved for non-railway use. Thank you. So what you didn't see this morning is Rugeley Town Railway Station so here it is right here. But getting those Abanti West Coast diverts between Hampstead and Aston has really been epic. Aston though has really been chaotic because you've got a train every five seconds passing through or stopping there. But other than that, it has really been brilliant. And the icing on the cake was that class 142 pacer returning to the main line. And that pacer has been at Eastleigh since 2020. So it's been there for at least three years, I think. But anyway, random videos popping up right now. If you haven't watched it yet, feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Siren Trades. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on board the Cyber Express for another journey down the line in the next video.